two and a half years ago, on the 2nd of January, that was when I discovered the real power of LinkedIn because I posted a picture on LinkedIn. Oh, 20 years ago today, I got sent to prison. I said a few words about how I felt about that, posted that picture, and that was the post there. It got 1,007 likes, 72 comments, and seen by 221,000 people. I got bookings off the back of that post. People contacted me. I wasn't even sure if they knew the, they knew the full story, but they liked the post, and they saw I was a motivational speaker, and I got bookings. Nothing I have ever done, marketing-wise, has ever had that such a quick response. So, do you know what I did? Two weeks later, I'm not stupid. And by the way, we got so many requests to connect that I had to employ the services of my PA's daughter to come in and accept all those requests. Went from 3,000 to 6,000 in just two weeks. Two weeks later, I posted this picture. I've got 6,000 followers by now. The picture was me on the landing of HMP Leads where I served time, and the post went something like this. 20 years ago today, I'd been in prison now for two weeks. And I linked it with dealing with change and how, a little, how I was a little bit more comfortable by now. Uh, 7,300 likes, 558 comments, more bookings off the back of that post. Look at this, 2.2 2, 2 million. It actually got 3 million in the end. I read a book recently, or a few years ago, I can't remember the title, it was maybe one of the TED Talks books. And in that book, it talks about when giving presentations, and I know this is not a presentation, but some of the same rules apply have jaw-dropping moments. And I suppose those posts were jaw-dropping moments. So my point is, have if you've got something interesting to say, grab the attention of the audience by sharing anniversaries, sharing things that have happened, the big piece of work you've just won, etc. Anyway, two and a half years later, I've now got 25,000 connections on LinkedIn. Now, I'm by no means the expert. There's lots of experts out there. I have Steve Phillip. To come along, he's a LinkedIn expert, and he came along and spoke at my Gravitas Speaker Retreat, so he knows the real kind of stuff to do on LinkedIn. But I just stumbled across this approach, and I've been doing it ever since. In fact, Steve Phillip was recognised by Forbes as being, as being one of the LinkedIn experts. Actually, one of the experts shared something that I disagree with, and it said, or he said, you should never speak to your audience, i.e. just like comments, sorry, like other people's comments, or reshare their comments. I completely disagree. Right now, I am sharing this post to my LinkedIn followers. So here's the kind of thing I've been doing ever since. This was just a few weeks ago. I locked myself out of the office. I went home for some keys. I had seven keys. Only one of them worked. And I videoed it. That had 4,800 views. I linked it to persistence, because that's kind of what I talk about, this I can philosophy. I also do presentation skills training, so on LinkedIn, I will continually share presentation tips. We've just done the I Can Speak bootcamp here at Bowcliffe Hall. We had 10 people in the room. Six people were here because of they'd noticed my LinkedIn activity over the last weeks and months and maybe even a couple of years. Okay, so the kind of thing I will do, I will put a blatant advertisement for the I Can Speak bootcamp here on this post, 22nd of July. We've still got a few spaces left, by the way, subtle marketing. I'll put blatant posts on LinkedIn about my events. But what I won't do is put a link to where they can book a space within the, con um, the content. I might put a link on the first comment, or I might just say, if you'd like more details, please type more details below. That gets people talking. Last night, I put a post on LinkedIn. Who would like me to make a video about my success on LinkedIn? I think we've had 30,000, 40,000 views of that particular post, over 100 comments. See what I'm doing there? It's all strategic, I'm sorry. It's all subtle marketing. It doesn't always have to be as blatant as that, but this is a bit of blatant fun. On the day that Theresa May announced that she was resigning, I put a post on LinkedIn of me outside 10 Diamond Street. It's 12 years old, that picture. I just thought it was a nice bit of fun. Got an interview later, bit of fun. 56 comments, 401 views and 22, that, sorry, 401 likes, but 22 and a half thousand views of that particular post. Two weeks ago, I did 44 talks for charity. I was on the train the next day. This young man passes me on the train. So you came into my workplace on Monday. It was for PwC. Sit down, took a screen grab, put it on LinkedIn. 122 views of that post. Don't know if you know what happens, but if you put a post, if I put a post on LinkedIn, and you like it, then all your connections see that you liked a particular post, even if they're not contact connected to me. And that's how I've grown my business, just putting interesting 
put, um, post on LinkedIn. Very, oh, this is, look at this one. This is something about my daughter's homework. I actually thought the teacher had made a mistake, they didn't. It nevertheless, 32,000 views of that post. Last Friday, I came home from London. Sorry to rush through this, because I tried this last night. It took 17 minutes and it was too big for LinkedIn. So I've got to make sure I squeeze it within 10 minutes. Last Friday, I came home from London. I was in, away Monday to Friday. I'm still a bit ill, getting over a cold because of that exhaustion. But my kids were waiting for me at the station. I put a little picture on LinkedIn, 37,000 views, and 44 comments, 516 likes. Remember what I said, if somebody likes one of my comments, all their connections see that post. So people that I'm not connected with will see it, I might check me out and request to connect and see what I do. Presentation skills, motivational speaker, resilience training, etc. Now, a few random posts that I looked at. Here's one, don't even know this company, but they've done some award-winning flats. No, these aren't award-winning, they're award-winning builders. But they just sort of put a picture on there about some new flats that they build. There's no story there. There is a story that I share at my Gravitas speaker retreat about an advert 30 years ago. I asked the audience, can they remember what the advert is? It's a man looking for a book. He goes around all the bookshops and he can't find this book. Some of you, if you are old enough, will remember which book I'm talking about. It was Fly Fishing by J.R. Hartley. The reason we can remember it is because it's a story. It's lodged in our brains and we love the emotion. It was, we found the book in the end. So I share stories. There's no story behind that, which is probably why there's two comments on that post. Here's some things I don't like to see on LinkedIn. Here's a connection request. Thanks for accepting my connection request. I, it, it's great to have you in my network. I hope you're having a productive first half to the week. It'd be great to hear more about your business. Why? Look on the profile. All the business is on there. Uh, or everything about my business is on there. Alongside this, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about our Pulse and LinkedIn lead generation. I'm not interested. He's selling to me. So I replied to this person. Will you marry me? And I've done it a few times. Will you marry me? What do I get back? Uh, excuse me? But what they're trying to do, I'll send them a link then to my article on LinkedIn about will you marry me? What they're doing, these people, please don't do this. Don't request a connect with someone and then try to sell to them straight away. It's like going on a blind date and then saying to the person within minutes, will you marry me? You wouldn't do it, you'd get to know them. Get to know a little bit about them, express some interest in them, be interested in them, ask them questions, and that's what that person didn't do, which is why they didn't get my business. Here's another example of it being done not very well. If I can generate more traffic oh, for your business, would you be interested? No, I wouldn't be interested because you've not sent me a personalised LinkedIn request. Here's one. Hi, Richard. Got my name in there. Got my name in. Well done. I see we have some mutual connections in common. I don't think you've even looked at the profile. I'm looking to expand my network of quality LinkedIners. As such, I've decided not to send a generic message. That is a generic message because there's nothing about my personal profile that demonstrates you've actually looked. So, would it be great to get with... If you're open to it, no, I wouldn't be interested in accepting because that's spam. It's probably a bot that. So, my final thoughts, and I'm sorry to rush through this, it's just that I did it last night, 17 minutes, it was too long. Be interesting. Put interesting random posts, not always about your industry. Dot's homework, Dot's homework, all those uh, crazy little things that I do. Be interesting, be different, but also be interested in other people. Be visible. Stand out from the crowd. Don't just put a picture on there. Oh, it's our new air compressor. No one's going to start talking about that. You want that kind of spread that reach by people talking about it, and then, then their contacts see it, and then they're going to request to connect with you if what you do is of interest and be consistent. I'm on LinkedIn every single day. I want to finish now with something that I never dreamt I would do all those years ago. I actually think this is going to be too long, but I'll share it anyway. It's me and the children dancing in their room. Yeah. Hey, Shirley, heard you got that drip, 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 drip. Yes, I'm good for my wrist, 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 wrist. Paparazzi selling flick, 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 flick. Night on my icon. That got seen by 20,000 people. I hope that was of interest to you. If you liked it, make a comment below, share it with your friends and family. But most importantly, get out there, be interesting, be consistent, and visible on LinkedIn. I'm Jim McCann, probably out of time. Thank you for tuning in.